Hello and welcome to another update video about the gold price. Yeah, we look at the gold futures chart here and we have reached, if you, if you want the longer term outlook, take a look at my last few videos. I, I always gave a longer time frame outlook and also a um, better orientation of where we are. But in this video, I just would like to give you an idea of where we are here short term because a few things are happening here on the chart. Um, what is important to understand, we came into my target area that I mentioned already in February. Yeah, target area between 1720 and 1610. I formulated specific price targets. The first one was here at 1680, the other one at 1640. The 1680 was hit perfectly. It was hit perfectly. Yeah, we touched it and we bounced off perfectly. Yeah, with the accuracy of maybe a dollar or so. And from here we saw a reaction. And I always told you, if we get into the area at any point, we can expect a reversal. Specifically, if we touch one of these more specific target areas, which we did. Now, until we were at around, yeah, 16, 1780, yeah, I expected this still to be a wave four. And it could still be a wave four until we go above $1,800, yeah, until we get into this wave one price area. But yeah, looking at the chart, I mean a wave four that retraces more, way more than the 50%, nearly to the 61.8% FIB level, and also stays there. Yeah, I made the decision to make now the bullish scenario my primary expectation. I will give it a 60% probability bullish, and we are going to take a look at the bullish wave count now. Yeah, so that assumes that this wave four was finished here at 1680 at one of my target levels and that we are now moving higher. What is happening here in terms of the wave count? So we can count this here as a first impulse to the upside as a one. We can count this here as a two and we can count this as a three in which we currently still are. We probably haven't finished the wave three yet. I'll give you a price target for the wave three now. So if we take a look at the Fibonacci extensions, moved up in a one, moved down in a two. Target for the wave three, and I'll put that onto the chart here between the 60, no, 1803 to 1825, basically between the 1.618 extension and the 200% extension is always an ideal target for a wave three. From here, we would expect a wave four retracement to the downside. That is typically another 20 to 30% drop of the wave three length and then there will be a wave five to the upside so it should move like that that is now what i expect primarily again the bearish wave count is sort of still there it's not been invalidated it will only get invalidated above 1800 i think it's 1805 the wave one yeah um so be a bit careful but this would now be the next target range I just showed you between 1805 and um, yeah 1825. Then we come down in a wave four. I can't really calculate the wave four yet because I don't know exactly where the wave three will land. Uh, it could be a short opportunity for some people, yeah, but I would personally be careful with shorts if we are in an uptrend and we seem to be getting back into an uptrend. Um, then there will be a wave five. Can also give you already a wave five target but that is currently just sort of a rough target, just a textbook target. That would be the 2.618 extension here at 1873. What would happen afterwards? Afterwards, we would assume that we will come down in an ABC correction. So, um, da -da -da -da. so all of this would then count as a larger wave one. Yeah, as a larger wave one. And we would then come down here once more in a larger wave two in an ABC pattern. That would probably be the most likely one. ABC, a three wave move like that. And that would then be another entry point. Yeah, for anybody who, who sort of missed it, um, that could be another entry point. And from here, then we should move more significantly than up in a wave three and um, we'll be able to calculate these targets then as soon as we know how highway five really goes. So it's starting to look promising, starts to look interesting. Um, no significant weakness in the chart. What will be the next resistance levels? Well, as I said here, the 1805 level 
um, that is the wave one low that was here. Because if we invalidate, if we get above that, that would invalidate the bearish wave count as it was. Um, but that is next resistance here, basically the 1.618 extension, the wave three target. What do we have afterwards? Afterwards, we've got here this high at 1882. And um, I mean, even here, 1860 is already a, a resistance. Looking at the previous high, then that. And each of these levels will make the bearish scenarios less likely. And then, of course, we've got up here the key level, which is sort of the $2,000 level, a psychological one, yeah? So that's something to be very much aware of. But uh, it's starting to look interesting here. And silver is, I think, a very similar story. And I'm going to update on silver soon as well. So yeah, hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out my main channel, More Crypto Online as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.